Hi guys, welcome to this um, system. It's the Alcolix BI. So I started with that particular version. It's Plasma and as usual, we update our systems, but there is a new thing. And um, I've looked it up. Alan McRae is one of the developers of Arch Linux and specifically for Pac-Man. And finally, right, because it was been, it was promoted already months and months ago that there would come a new Pac-Man number six and it would have parallel downloads that's one of the most major things but you can have a look at, at what's set here but parallel downloads is one of the major uh, well changes so update as usual we type update our system which is going to get our every package from archlex archlex and some stuff from awar so as long as it's archlex or archlex that's what means to update your system now this is a new question, Pac-Man and Yay Bin are in conflict. You know that there are AOR helpers and there are always, there will be always more and new AOR helpers and over time we just change and switch and everything's fine. AOR helpers, ArchWiki. So we used to have Packer, Yaourt and all that. Today we have Paru and we have Yay and Trizen. We have not tried Picower yet or Paku of Picower. So it's always a choice. It's a tool to install packages. Well, actually to build packages from because it's meant for AUR, Arch User Repository. So first you download a kind of recipe, a package build, and then with a tool you build it. So at this point in time, which is the date? This is the date, right? Pac-Man has an update. We go from five to six and we get this question here. Pac-Man and Yabin are in conflict. Remove Yabin. And we say yes, right? Because we don't really need Yabin. We have Paru, there is Packer, uh, not Packer, but Pakaur and all that, those guys, Trizen. So there are, al are alternatives. So we just have a look. I did change already something in here. I like root, so the bash RC or the ZSHRC will point not to Ye but to Paru. I've been using Paru for months here uh, on, a, on, on a row now. So that's cool. It will just change up all. And up all is really update everything, update all. So AUR included. For the rest, yeah, there's nothing for the rest uh, worth mentioning. It's just this switch around. Well, there is something worth mentioning that's the pacman.conf, right? Because there is a new pacman. That means also there is a new pacman.conf. And it's it should be already knowledge, common knowledge to users on Arch Linux or Arch Linux or Garuda Linux or anything Linux. Uh, Arch Linux should be known. Let's see where we can find it. If there's somewhere in the menus um don't think don't haven't seen it but let's just type in pacman and let's see what we get pacman uh-huh here we have we do have a menu pacman everything you need to know about pacman so from time to time we get these updates in and an update has sometimes a configuration and configuration files they get a strange name so your file your own proper individual configuration file will never be overwritten it's up to you to decide if you want to change anything so super shift enter is going to move myself to etc well actually i rather go via thunar so i'm not on xfc now i am on plasma I'd like to go to Tunar because in here, this is all good. All the updates have been applied. There is no error of any kind. No. So that's cool. We go to computer, file system, etc. And things that are new. What does, let me make this a little bit bigger. Voila, that's nicer. We go to pacman.conf and pacman made a new file. So this is my this is the only file that gets that's going to be used. This is the file that's going to be used. This is 
Pacman, the package manager, telling, hey, there is a new configuration and here it is. If you don't do anything manually, nothing will ever change and that's fine, but there are some things that have changed. Five, Pacman version five and Pacman version six have different parameters. So I went to Thunar because I can do right mouse click, open folder as root, and then I'm root and inside here, easily done, I take these two guys, right mouse click, I compare them and I take what I like, right? It's really up to you, but if you're a noob, just follow what I do, but otherwise it's really up to you. This is some text, Pacman won't upgrade, list it in, etc. So again, the left side is the one that's going to be used. The right one is the one from version six from Pacman. So I say, okay, cool, some text, fine text. Color, I wanna keep color? Yes, I wanna keep color. Total download is gone, it does not exist anymore. So, okay, Control C, I'm gonna take the no progress bar. I do wanna see a progress bar. So if you delete the hashtag, you just see download, 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 and you don't see the bar eating away, Pac-Man eating away all the dots because that's Pac-Man, that's I love candy. So it still works on version six. Check space, oops, let me kill everything. Forgot to kill the social media stuff, okay. So color no progress bar, check space, that's cool. And then we can have that activated like so. Verbose package list, yes, I would like to have that and parallel downloads. That's the new one. That's basically the one we're waiting for. These downloads, voila. Parallel downloads, and then we just say five, for example. Now, building ISOs, there is some conflict with um, the Pac-Man GNOME software at this point in time, right? Everything is in motion. The new release has been, well, thrown in there and other people like Yebin, uh, well, the Ye developer needs to update their packages, GNOME software as well, and so on and so on. So it's either a choice again, you wanna have parallel downloads, yes, no, it's up to you, you just activate it. And all the rest is similar. We do activate Multilib, so Multilib library from Arch Linux is activated, and here's our stuff. That's it. That's what I wanted to make clear. If you see something like that, there, there are already videos about it, but this is of course a major jump. Uh, going from five to six is uh, important that a video is created. Ah, yeah. So I have updated everything and the bash RC and the ZSH RC, in this case, I have activated ZSH here, you see here, the line, and Y is no longer eh, no longer there. We just removed it via our updates. What I need to do is a scale, but maybe I do something different now. Scale is getting everything over, okay, which is okay, uh, it's cool, and uh, it's correct, and uh, whatever you, it's, it's, it's how you should do it. But basically, the only thing we've changed is say, let's forget about yay. And we have changed in here. Um, that not my idea. Just wanted to open it with Sublime Text, for example. Yeah, thank you. Control find Paru. We've just changed everything, all the typos as well. Paru, and then update everything. But at this point in time, it's an ETC scale, so it's never ever gonna be used. So this guy, that guy, Control C. So this was the main manual labor we had to do every single time, but um, that's why we made scale. Scale is gonna copy paste everything that's an ETC scale, alias scale. is basically copy paste everything over. Make a backup first and then copy paste. Voila, now everything should be in order. We should be able to update, uh, to, to reboot because there are so many updates that we need to um, 
let everything work, kick in. So the CB is maybe something I can explain as well. There is another alias, copy bash CB, but I am in ZSH, so copy Z, CZ, copy ZSH is going to reload everything. So at this point in time, alias of all, Paru, you see? So it's applied already, this is the new ZSH that was in the ETC scale that we copied over to the home directory is applied. So when I say all, it's actually not ye anymore, but it's um, Paru, and maybe you haven't seen it, but let's do it again. But they go in parallel, so you see the lines depart and um, together at the same point in time, they try to download all these files. But it goes very quickly here, you hardly see it but it's in parallel downloads. All right, um, I'm out. All I need to do is reboot. All right, cheers.